All right, it is Friday, August 11th. So I figured we'd do a August update as we don't give many updates just because it's slow going. But uh, plant, here we are at outside of the 2168 Werner. So same issue with the spray over the damage with the spray, but uh, as far as leaves are concerned, good and healthy. Um, I can't really complain this year as there hasn't really been many leaves that I've had to remove, a couple here and there. Um, third stage growth still going on. We got them popping up here, popping up there. I can see a vine there. I just kind of take them off and let some green leaves grow. No big deal there. Vines over here, still very good. A lot taller than last year as of note. So uh, hopefully we take care of the spraying issues. Pumpkin itself, we are still growing. More than likely measuring the largest that we have ever measured inside of a greenhouse. So that's always a good thing. Um, what do we do now? Well, this time of year, we come, look at the butt of the pumpkin, watching it. I've, it developed a few of these little cracks here, growth cracks, nothing really major, which is nice. You always get nervous when it's back here. So that's always a good thing when you have a little crack like that, but it heals over. Then it's getting extremely difficult to get to the front side of this pumpkin. This has been my path, but it's a lot harder. You can see here on the old girl, she sticks out a long way. She's very tall. Way up there is the height of it. So we've done a couple of Where's Waldo videos with my beer can. Probably have to do it again here. But I have to get down low to show the top of it now. It's a good thing. So anyways, look at the butt. Let's go around to the front side. This is where I come. Not easy. Ugh. Get in here. So what do we look for here? Well, obviously the stem. Couple of spots. Now you can see these spots here. I clean out, spray a little alcohol, put a fan on, that's it. One time with alcohol, scrape it out again, put a little bit more alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, water mixture on it, and then that's it. Generally once or twice gets it. There was a hole there. Probably gonna get a fan noise here, but we'll get it down here and look. There was a hole here. This one here is actually was a long time ago, so it's kind of refilled back out, so it's kind of grown into there. The other thing that we watch for is issues with the vine. So this one here, it's hard to see, but the pumpkin itself was growing in every direction. It was pushing down and forward. It made a kink right there, and then it cracked the main vine a little bit on the backside. Put a fan on that, same thing, same deal with the alcohol, and it's healed over real nicely. Basically, a little note for next year was an issue that I had because I wasn't watching it close enough and the pumpkin grew a little bit quicker than what I thought and then it cracked the vine so need to move it a little bit more often whatever it is what it is then just looking down the main vine you look for any issues there you can see it kind of weaving back in there I try I need to try to get in there and remove some of that grass grass freaking sucks and then you look all the way back We'll go look on the back side to see the, how, what I'm looking at when I'm going over here. So yes, my main vine isn't as neat as old, old Mike Schmidt's, Moby Mike's, but I leave all leaves until I have to remove them. Fortunately, I haven't had to remove any leaves off of this girl. So we're watching each of the nodes here. This is where it's gonna have bad problems. You see that little spot right there? Alcoholed it. Got rid of it. Now we'll watch down the main vine. There was a couple of spots here and there. I had fans on it. I always have a fan running right down the middle just to keep it dry. So 
put a fan in there, any fan you can get, and then come back to the actual stump of the pumpkin, and we will watch for that. Same thing here. Yeah, the leaves are old. What? Well, they're old. There's nothing really wrong with them. They're just old. Look at the stump. Make sure it's dry. Fan on that girl 24-7. Never, ever shut that fan off. If it does, I probably would have problems. Small stump on this girl. Very small stump. But if it grows pumpkins like that, I really don't care what the stump looks like. Let's go check out the 2425 Deletus. Hey, we'll start at the stump here on the 2425 Deletus. This one here is bigger. Nice stump. Good and solid. No issues. I've removed a few leaves from this one here. Not many, but a few. Probably need to remove about two or three more, maybe four. Just get rid of those old tired leaves. No real reason to have it. Probably should grow some more third stage growth just to fill in here. Plant itself, very good looking. Green here, green there. Couple of old leaves, but nothing too major here. And we'll come down, take a look at the plant. Pumpkin itself, once again, main vine. I did have a couple of new leaves here just third stage growth main vine on this one looks very healthy very green no spots nothing that i can see is bad so that's the main thing make sure that main vine is really really healthy so leaves on this girl huge that one there is still a monster look at that sucker jesus cripes and then the pumpkin itself same thing here this one here, I, I really like this pumpkin. It thumps like a freaking rock. So it's going to be fun to watch this one hit the scale. Very wide, I don't know, probably going on five and a half, six foot wide, something like that. This girl is more round than the Werner. So 24, 25 delete is a bit rounder than the war. It's actually a little bit less, but that one's taller so it measures more but this one's about the same roundness so it's just not as tall um, here we're looking at its butt same thing this one's butt curves up so now if you notice here i've had to cut that off and i need to cut it off again i did that a couple of days ago so what does that mean it's still growing same thing here we got a little crack let's see if i can get you to see that right there Get that butt cut off of there. You gotta watch for that. Keeping a fan on it 24 seven. She sounds, sounds thick around here. Doesn't, nothing squishy, nothing feels like it's gonna have any issues. Same thing with this girl. We have not pulled this pumpkin one time. Does it need to be? It might now. It's getting pretty tight on the main vine. So when I had this one set up, you can see my dirt blanket underneath of me. There's the edge of the dirt. It was like way over here. So it is, it is definitely grown very far forward. So something to be aware of. I probably should have even pulled it even more because it has grown off of its mat. Even though if you watch my earlier videos, I had it way back on the blue. It has just grown forward so much. Crazy. And with all that forward movement, this here, here's the main vine. I had enough of a kink in the vine that as it comes here, it's very good. Then the main vine goes on down that way. But it was very good. I did a good job of that. But now we're getting tight right here. So there, that's the issue that I'm thinking I might need to move this girl here. Um, had the cracks. Let's go look at these cracks. See how those, I cut that that way, boy, it heals up nice, scarred over real nice. All of those cracks, very good. Just make a little slice in it. Same here, I got one crack here that developed a couple of days ago, another one right here. These were a couple of days ago, maybe four days ago, five days ago. So that's what I'm watching. Keeping that fan on at 24 seven, never taking the fan off. Man, the main vine on this girl. Wow, what a main vine. I still, I don't know, it's behind, but the way that this one thumps, I I, I don't know. I 
think it might beat the Werner. And I know that Werner's huge. So it's going to be a race to the end with these two to see what they do. Loving everything. Loving all the videos. Loving all the pictures. Good luck, everybody. Can't wait to see everybody at the scales. Grow yourself some monsters. Let's look at that, honey. Woo -hoo -hoo! Good luck, people.